Chase here, buddy. Hey, you're that bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever, you must be exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? You old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little confab, blah, blah. Well, you're then you look. A little cardio wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> You know, I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out and take a stroll? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll wait here. Go on, run free! <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? All right. Those are the grindstone, I like that. Okay then, right this way. I'm putting that tongue any use anyway. Truth be told, I was just tired of looking at my own stance. Here we are, then. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. I'll we'll just need a second to wash up and, uh, oh, movies. And it'll give us a chance to talk. You know, I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible something. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. It's understandable when people get scared. There's like to turn to God as anything else. When God died with the gold standard, we're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. You paying attention? Don't pass that on me. There's so much for you to absorb. We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself! Uh... <laughs> 